Hello, my friends. Welcome to our Begemmon live stream number 136. And today I want to give you an update on this whole Anki project. Um, yeah, the first stream about uh, Anki, or to be more precise about XG to Anki, was end of September. And yeah, since then a lot of things happened. Um, most important thing was uh, surely the tournament in uh, Cyprus. And it was not only my first international tournament, it was also about um, uh, the Anki seminar I gave there, which was uh, really exciting for me. And uh, yeah, and as so often uh, in my uh, comeback or YouTube, uh, since I have had this uh, YouTube channel, as so often, uh, Markus Reinhardt was the initiator and uh, was a big help and he uh, suggested um, um, after I came out with this XG to Anki in, in, in uh, August this year he said you have to do a seminar in Cyprus and um, yeah I thought yeah pfft. Uh, me, who am I? How can I do a, a, a seminar here for uh, such a huge crowd? But uh, he convinced me you can do it and he talked with Ada, the tournament director. And he said, yes, you can do this. We give you this uh, cinema hall and um, where there's room for about 100 uh, viewers or participants. And yeah, I did this seminar there. And of course I was super excited. And um, if you are in this room on in the front and you have uh, several players uh, that are way better than you, uh, to, to name only one, Michi was there in the audience. Um, you can, I guess, uh, <coughs> Uh, estimate how, how excited I was and how thrilling it was for me and um, yeah it was also a super nice uh, tournament and um, it was so nice that I decided I will go there next year again and it will uh, most likely be the only international tournament I will participate in next year. So you see how I excited I am about the Cyprus tournament and next year it will be the 10th one. And uh, yeah, and this year there were uh, almost 600 players there. So it was really amazing. And um, yeah, I met a lot of old and new friends. Uh, of course, it was nice to talk with Ada, who I met for the first time. It was also super nice to meet uh, Antoinette Williams again. Uh, I saw her the last time in sometime in the 90s when I went to America, I think we met. And of course, it was nice uh, as I'm a huge fan of uh, Michi to meet him. He's such a nice person and uh, yeah, it was Wonderful. Also had a nice talk with uh, Stefan Palivoda from the uh, from the UK. Uh, we met there for the first time, and also I, I met uh, Nick Blazier, uh, where I'm a huge fan of, and uh, I really admire his uh, commentating skills and entertaining skills. And it was, of course. Uh, uh, a very nice experience to meet him in person and to buy his book directly from him from him there and yeah so maybe we start uh, to give you uh, 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 an impression of how the seminar was uh, there was also recording you you will find also the link to the to the video in the video description but just to give you a short look at it, maybe we take a look at the first two minutes. So let's switch here and watch the first two minutes. The introduction of Mr. Ada. Start to start, 
It's one of our exclusive seminar sessions. This time we will be giving you some information about the Anki method. As I've heard, it's not something new, right? It, actually, the method is there for years, but Ryan and I worked on it to uh, apply it into backgammon, and uh, he gave me some brief information. For me, it was very interesting. We believe it will be interesting for you too, and that will help you uh, learn the game, not uh, from the computer positions, but not memorizing, but learn the idea behind reference positions. So the word is Mr. Virtus. Thank you. Welcome everybody, I hope you can understand the video even in the back rows. It tells me that I don't need microphone because the acoustic is very good here. So if you can't understand me, please let me know that I speak up a little bit louder. So, um, before we start... Yeah, so let's quit here. So if you are interested, I um, was, uh, was explaining the complete uh, Anki method. And you will find the link in the video description of this video, of this live stream. And also you find the link to the first video, uh, end of September, where I talked about this method and the XG2 Anki service. And today it should be more about an update. So I will show you what has happened since then, which improvements uh, we had and uh, yeah. Okay, then let's switch to the directly to Anki. So today there will be no no PowerPoint. Um, I will do everything live and show you what happened. And uh, yes, hi to Patrick. He's in the chat. Hi, Patrick. Good to have you here. And uh, you also. Uh, had a big part in these improvements well, uh, where I come to later. It's about the new web page we have for XG2 Anki that he has created. Uh, yeah, what, what happened uh, in the last uh, video, in the first video, I already uh, um, showed you or talked about the collaboration with uh, Dirk Schimon. And we had this uh, free deck, uh, which was called uh, Bar Split, the one you see here. And um, yeah, there were several improvements th since then. First of all, we, we decided that we do, of course, more decks because uh, a lot of people enjoyed the free deck. So we released several more. And we also uh, decided to uh, to make it a little bit bigger, instead of 20 cards, we now have in every theme deck uh, 25 cards. So what you can see here is that we have, uh, in addition to the free sample deck, Bar Split, where the theme is uh, Checker Play Decision, where one of the options is to split two opponents uh, Bar Point. And we have here uh, several more theme decks now available. So we have for the third roll, we even have two decks for so third roll one and two, and for the fourth roll, so all opening uh, checker play decisions. Then we have one deck here um, uh, playing against back game, checker play against back game, which can be quite tricky. Then we have the bear off, which is a uh, contact bear off. Uh, we all know that we can mess things up there easily, even though it looks easy, but it's uh, not. Then we have one deck about uh, hit loose. So where the decision is, uh, do you hit loose in your in your home board or play something else? And then we have another double packer here, uh, leaving the anchor, which we all know. In in either way, it can be a big blunder if you make the wrong decision. And so we have two decks here, so 50 cards altogether, about the theme leaving the anchor or not. Then we have one uh, theme deck about uh, when you have one remaining back checker, should you step up or not? And this is the theme in this deck. Then we have uh, this deck a prime slot, so where you can decide or have to decide will you slot one of the ends of your prime or not. 
and we have one which point to make. So often there's a decision, maybe four point or nine point or whatever, or anchor, defensive anchor or, def or an offensive point. Um, yeah, so we have uh, 12 decks all together, which are available now. And more on that when I come to the homepage later on. Um, yeah, let's just jump into the uh, bar split deck. Then we can see what changes we have since since last time. Um, one big improvement is that I have invented what I call uh, uh, deck options, which means um, we have many cases where it's not clear where you have uh, yeah different ways to go and it's not clear what what uh, you users want so it's not only about me so i looked for for a way to make this customizable so for example um, as you have seen that uh, in the first video that i have included this uh, pip count trainer which means that uh, when you see the diagram that you are not directly seeing the pip count uh, it's hidden first and then you can count first and then uh, check for the pip count and uh, there's it's now uh, it's disabled because uh, and you can enable it with the parameter p for example so you see all all these uh, letters a b c d e g m n p p q r s t and u are deck parameters where you can uh, change the behavior of uh, of an Anki deck, so they are all described here, and we will see some some uh, some of them in action later on. Um, one thing, maybe first, uh, a question I got very often is um, I got this deck, for example, uh, this free deck uh, bar split. And when I open it, I see only uh, maybe here when you start new uh, 20. Usually you see here new cards 20. And then there's a question, Reiner, you told me there are 25 positions. What's going on here? And the reason is that here in, in, in learning mode, you only see um, the number of new cards for today. And by default, you can check this if you go here on, on options, for example, the default is 20 new cards per day and that's the reason why you only see 20, 20 even though your your deck uh, contains more cards so you can uh, you can uh, increase this number if you want but keep in mind uh, for example here i put it back to 20 uh, but usually i even uh, make it smaller like five because i'm wake, working with several decks so 20 per day new cards is way too much for me but if you want for example with the seam decks you want to, to have them all in one go then you can uh, increase the number here for example to 25 and then you can on the first day you can go through all the cards in the deck uh, since we're already here in these uh, options um, you, i don't want to go too deep here because it's too maybe too advanced or too technical but what you can see here is everywhere where you see this uh, refresh button this is where i've changed something and uh, i will just uh, scroll down and uh, you can pause the video later on and see where i have made changes but it's not what i'm wanting to uh, talk about here uh, it's not too important the most important thing is um, the first one these new cards if you want to change this to immediately see your 25 decks anyway um, let's go back here and yeah so first we choose uh, a deck then we see the description and we can now go to study now to start our learning and what we see here uh, the first change we have made is uh, that you have now this multiple choice list here. Uh, in the first video, I, I told you that uh, after talking with uh, Torsten Lux, he told me that I needs that he needs something that he can enter his answer. Just for him, it's important uh, to have a better learning experience. 
and uh, I was not too convinced, but I made an, an option to, to get this entry field where you can enter, uh, for example, double take or, or move, uh, if it's a move decision. And uh, But after a session with uh, Dirk Schiemann, we also talked about this and he also told me it would be somehow, for him it would be way better if we would have a, a list like that. So. Finally, he convinced me. So Torsten did the first step, and then uh, Dirk uh, finally pushed me into it to make this uh, the default behavior. So, which means um, we have always these four uh, options, and um, yeah, sometimes less options. So, with uh, with the theme decks with uh, Dirk, from Dirk, we made it like that. That um, it depends on. I'm looking for the um, analyzing level of the first move and if the first three moves, for example, are on the same level, for example, usually they are on plus plus, if the first three moves are on plus plus, you will get three uh, options. So if you only had uh, two moves on plus plus, you will only see A and B. So this is the way how it works here. and. Uh, in, when, when I create decks from, from match files, for example, it works like that, that it's always obviously one option is the move that was originally played uh, during the match. And then I fill up the list to four options, always to four options, if there are four legal options, of course, uh, with the top four plays or top three remaining plays. That's how this uh, uh, quiz option works here. Okay, what's what's new? Also new is um, that uh, I got a new board here. Uh, Rain created a new board here because some some uh, of the testers or customers said it's one thing. They I had this my logo here in the middle on the board on the left and on the right side, and especially on the right side, it was in the middle of the two dice, and it was a little bit disturbing. That was one thing, and the other thing was that uh, some some of the uh, users had a little bit of a difficulty to detect uh, black checkers on the bar. And that's why I asked Rain to make a little bit more clear. So we have a little bit thicker white line so that uh, black checkers are uh, more easily uh, detected on, on the bar, these two changes. And my logo um, went here in the uh, left lower corner here. That was just a small change, and thanks again uh, to Rain, who uh, made this change uh, quite fast. And uh, directly after I came back from Cyprus, I had this new Begemon uh, board from Rain available. And of course, it's also um, there, there's also a link uh, to this board if you want to uh, add more boards on your own in the on the answering side. Uh, you can now uh, use the same XG board as I do. Um, yeah, that's Rain allowed me to uh, to give this away with every Anki deck. Okay, then what's next? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I showed you here uh, last time the in the first video. The pip count was not shown directly. Now you see that uh, it's shown directly and uh, the pip count trainer is uh, deactivated by default. So there were quite some of the early early customers who said, hey, where's the pip count trainer? It was such a nice feature. So you can easily activate it and I will show you how this works. So you go back to your DEX list and here, for example, we now work with the DX bar split and and then we go here on this uh, settings icon and we just go here on uh, rename and the parameters work that at the end of the deck name we, we need it in square brackets and the parameter for the pip count trainer for example is p so we just put p in square brackets at the end of the deck name that's how you can activate uh, an option and now we go in it again and go on study 
and then you see that it behaves a little bit different. Now we have this show pip count button and we have uh, the, the timer which goes up to 60 and now you can practice your pip count, make your pip count and as, as soon as you have uh, a pip count in your, in your head you press on show pip count and then you see the pip count as usual for both sides and the difference and you also see how long it took you. So you can, which I really uh, enjoy doing uh, before a live tournament, you can uh, practice your pip count. Okay, then you make your decision and you can either enter, enter the move uh, A, B, C or D. Ah, okay. Thanks, J Joker. You do not see anything. Why? Oh, I messed something up here. I messed something up. Sorry. So, okay. Then let's 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 go back. I just explained how to to rename uh, the deck. So let's just quickly go back. Here we had the situation, it was like that. So, and I explained when you want to uh, activate an attack option, for example, the option P for activating the pip count trainer, you go here on this uh, settings icon and click rename. And the the parameters have to be in square brackets and for example for activating the bitcoin trainer it's p so you have an open square bracket and an end and if you want to add more parameters you have to divide them inside the square brackets by a semicolon so now we go inside again go on study and now we see that it's a little bit different here now we see here not uh, the pip count uh, directly It's switched again back. What's wrong here? I'm a little bit confused. Okay, now you see here the, the, the timer is running up to 60 seconds and as soon as you have uh, made your pip count, you click on... By P verschwindet immer das Bild. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, some of my hotkeys seem to... Seems to be a little bit wrongly configured here. That's why I got this little mess up here. Okay, you, then you click on show pip count and you see the pip count finally with the two pip counts and the difference and how many seconds it took you. Okay, then you make your decision what you, uh, how you play here. For example here, maybe I decide for playing two down. Then I enter B. And I made the wrong play here. Uh, no. 13, 11. A. Ah, I should have ended A. Oh, I wanted to play two down. Now I'm a little bit confused. Anyway, you see uh, if you uh, entered the wrong answer, you get here this in, in, in red. And if you enter it right, then you have uh, it's in green and uh, check mark. Uh, yeah, and another change here uh, compared to the version in uh, in September is that we now have what I call the deluxe version, which means you do not only have uh, the XG results for the actual score, or in this case, it's money game. But you also get the results for DMP, Gammon Safe, and Gammon Go for comparison. For example, here you see that uh, the DMP running as so often uh, gets stronger. So in, in Money Game, it's a uh, uh, 46 uh, millipoint error to run, but in DMP, they are both uh, the same. And if you have a normal card with, uh, with um, uh, Match score in the original position, you have uh, four additional uh, results. Money game, DMP, Game and Save and Game and Go. And what we have also added is um, 
So Dirk has uh, very often works w with what he calls uh, sister positions. So which means they, he has similar positions with uh, small changes. And if that's the case, you have here this uh, new button show comparable positions. And this is uh, very nice because here you see the original position and the sister position. And you can here uh, compare, for example, here he has a similar position uh, for black, uh, it's the same role and the same position for black, but white has here the advanced anchor. Well, as we all know, or should know, is um, that uh, we have to fight for an advanced anchor, which means uh, splitting to the bar point is now uh, the right play and playing two down uh, is not a good idea. So in the original position, yeah, uh, you have uh, advantage in, in, in priming and the opponent is still on with his back checkers on the 24 point. So you can uh, play the priming game and play two down. And white is not so good in the priming era because he has uh, this relatively deep deep point, the three point. Okay, what we also changed here is uh, that we have added uh, video links, and which is really cool because um, on, on every card you have a video link. For example, if you click here. Okay, next one. We jump directly so to this position and can hear how Dirk White explained this point. position. So we are not in immediate danger of being primed. We've got the bar point already, so clearly a priming, priming game suits us. And he's got the checkers on the 20, 24 still. So actually it's a good idea to, to work on our prime now and choose D, bringing two men down. Um, splitting to the bar, uh, the drawback is that then you'll probably get hit and you simply cannot work on your prime, extend your prime. Uh, so, and it's, you are not in real danger of being counter primed right now. So you ju should just work on the offensive end, as you can see. So it's wrong to split to the bar, just work on your offense. Okay, this is... Okay, that's it for this position. I think this is quite a cool feature. And um, Dirk is at the moment working on, uh, on more videos. So I'm pretty sure that one or two will be ready for sale um, uh, before, before end of the year. And uh, yeah, so we at the moment uh, we offer the decks for for nine euros, and uh, you can order um, as soon as they come out the video tutorial for twenty euros. Okay, and you can also here click directly on 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 the link. Then your browser will open, and you you can watch the video directly in YouTube. I think most of the time it's only about uh, uh, more about the audio than for the video, so it's fine to stay in the app and um, yeah, and uh, don't switch to the browser. And I also use this on 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 my mobile, um, even though it's a, a pretty small picture. But you saw the diagram already, so it's more about hearing your coach. Okay, um, so much for the, the bar split deck. Um, maybe I show you briefly um, the browsing mode. So this is the, the learning mode or the studying mode, but you can also look through your decks uh, via the, the browsing mode. So you can click on browse and then select your deck and then you can use here this uh, preview functionality. And then you can just scroll through here. Uh, that's another way. And um, yeah, what's also new is that I have created um, um, several taggings or tags for position types. Uh, in the original, 
uh, video, we only had one uh, one position type, which was the, the position type opening. And I did it like that, that I just uh, checked uh, if the decision is within the first four moves for both sides. And this I decided uh, will be opening type. And then I decided uh, maybe I can uh, create more position types automatically. So as you can see, uh, I have position type back game, blitz, blitz defense, contact bear in, contact bear off, containment game, gammon race, hit, uh, holding game, or when different uh, points are made. And this you can use or holding game, one man back. This is all detected automatically when I analyze an X3 file and create uh, a deck of it. And then you can later on filter. And uh, maybe I show you one example. For example, I have created here, uh, which I called my hit no hit problems. So these are all things you see here, uh, 46 cards um, where I messed up the, the um, decision either should I hit or not. So you see you, with Anki, you also have your uh, database and via these tags, you can create all kinds of uh, uh, filters. Or I created, for example, a filter, uh, which I called leading three away cube problems. So there are only two until now where I had uh, was three away and the, the opponent four or more points away and where I did something wrong in the cube decision, for example. So this is really cool because you can do all kinds of filtering, which will uh, make your training way more efficient, I'm pretty sure. Okay, then I think, yeah, let's briefly check um, the, the chat. So greetings to Patrick, I already mentioned him, then greetings to Herbert and to Jay Joker and to Stefan Gumbert once again, thanks Stefan. He was the one who, who gave the initial impulse to me uh, when he mentioned uh, Anki pretty much one year ago in December last year and it all went from there. So thanks again, Stefan. I cannot uh, repeat it often enough. Um, yeah, uh, so feel free if you have any questions. I'm happy to, to try to explain them and to answer them, hopefully. Um, now let's switch to the uh, new homepage that has been created by my very good and best friend, uh, Patrick. So on XG to Anki, so two as a, written as a number, you will also find the link in the description where we have at the top, we have a short explanation and we also have here uh, two links. One is to, to download the uh, Anki software and one where you can uh, create your your uh, Anki account, which is very important if you want to uh, keep your devices synchronized, which I explained uh, in my other two videos or on the seminar and on the other video, that the big advantage is that you can work on your PC and on your mobile device and uh, uh, it's, everything is uh, neatly synchronized. So if you click here on uh, um, Anki Web, uh, you have here, you see that you know, on the download area you have for Windows, Mac, Linux and uh, your mobile devices you have, uh, yeah, there's an app for every platform. That's how you start and this you have to do and when you download a deck from me you have to first install Anki and then inside Anki you can import then very easily the downloaded file. Um, yeah, and the other one is just uh, to get your free Anki account. It's just email and password and then in, in the desktop app and in the mobile app you enter your email and then or your account and then these uh, devices are synchronized which is a huge advantage. Okay, then we have here the, the free stuff that is, uh, that is uh, available at the moment. So at Cyprus um, 
directly after my seminar. That was the, the Michi quiz. Uh, eight uh, very interesting problems. And uh, I asked Michi if I can uh, create a little architect of it. And that's what's, what's here uh, inside, just eight problems. And if you are interested in one of them, you just uh, check the deck you want, enter your mail and your name, and then you will get the links from me. So we have this uh, little Michi quiz deck and we have the DX bar split deck. And we have uh, my normal working deck, which in my case um, is uh, the blunders and the opening errors. And to be honest, I, I changed this a little bit uh, a few days ago, um, since uh, I think it's very important that you uh, put your focus on, on quality and not on quantity of positions or of analyzing. And so at the beginning, I said I want to have all my blunders uh, by standard value, 80 millipoints, and opening errors, uh, uh, 20 millipoints or more, because I want either big big mistakes or mistakes that come off uh, come up very often like the opening and but i found out at least for my level of play even though i don't play much but i do not play so super strong like a michi or a mochi um, with these settings i i get too many too many positions and cannot handle them so I decided to change my settings, and uh, which means I, I only create a card for um, cube errors that are 200 or more, and checker play errors 100 or more, and opening errors 50 or more. That's that are the settings uh, I'm working with at the moment. Um, yeah, and this uh, is this uh, sample deck or my my personal working deck, which you can have. And the good thing is, uh, so you don't have to spend any money on it. Um, with this free deck, you also got the template, which means you can create your own decks. Um, you don't need the service XG2Anki. The only drawback, and that was my motivation why I developed this uh, program I'm now using, uh, offering as a service, because it's even though uh, when you have these templates, it's still a lot of work to create these cards. You have to make screenshots of your uh, positions and of the results. And um, yeah, so for me, usually there was about one hour work for one match. And this is, uh, yeah, and I'm not talking about learning. I'm just talking about creating the cards. And now I can create this uh, overnight automatically which is a huge time saver and this is what i'm here offering as a xg2 anki more on that in a few minutes and there's another deck another free deck yeah and and if you download this and import it you have this template and you can immediately create your own cards using this template so if you fill the fields accordingly the, the cards will look uh, the same as you have seen here then I have a deck uh, which I call uh, Begammon Match Theory. Um, this is just in from a seven point match, the, all the take points and all the gammon values, which I am intending to, to memorize sooner or later. And if you're interested in that, yeah, you can have this as well for free. And also I have a, a small deck created for uh, training or memorizing needs numbers, which I'll use uh, when it's outside the seven point match. Okay, that's all the free stuff. Then we come to the uh, theme decks. So here we have all the theme decks. I already explained it earlier. And sooner or later, we, there will also be video tutorials available for every deck. And uh, yeah. And you can also click here on the question mark and then you get a, a brief uh, description, even though the, the name of the deck is right. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, description of what you can expect from this deck. So um, the deck, each deck with 25 cards is for nine euros and the video tutorial is 20. So 29 euros uh, if you want to have both. And you can also jump here to Dirk's homepage where you can buy his book in English and uh, German edition. 
Uh, yeah. And there are also more decks here. I have this uh, Mochi's Blunders, where I created a deck from uh, with uh, more than 250 uh, Blunders of Mochi. So Blunders, which means in this case uh, 80 milli points or more. So you can quiz yourself and see which of uh, Mochi's mistakes uh, you can avoid. And also we have this deck, uh, DX Theory of Begammon, um, on DX page. The uh, homepage you can download for free the uh, XG position files 270 and uh, what you can get here is that I have created an Anki deck out of it which you can get here for 15 euros um, yeah and then the the I think the the main thing here is this uh, XG to Anki service where I can create uh, automatically from match files or position files and I can create Anki cards and uh, yeah at the beginning I had this uh, offer of um, first offer was uh, I think five five euro for the first match and then one euro for up to 19 additional matches and uh, yeah of course uh, even though I have automatic automated the whole process it uh, still takes uh, uh, yeah some time so basic cards usually take around one minute and deluxe cards uh, because i have to addition i have to do additional uh, analyzing um, takes up to four minutes which means yeah with the initial offer uh, yeah i cannot offer it for uh, for that price anymore what's now here and i think it was i first of all i didn't like the idea but it's it was clear that it will be the fairest that that the customers have to pay per card because obviously um, um match is not match uh, there may be a, a different match length or even different uh, yeah it, it dep also depends of course on your play level and uh, so you cannot really pr predict how many cards uh, come out here and so now I decided I make a, a price per card so you have uh, different packages you can buy so you can buy um, 50 Anki credits which uh, means 50 cards uh, for 20 euros 100 cards for 35 and as you can see up to 1000 for 200 so the price per basic card per credit uh, varies from uh, 40 cent to 20 cent and uh, the deluxe version is just uh, uh, double so deluxe means that uh, for cube decisions you also get the the neutral score result for comparison not only the original result and also the dice distribution and for checker play you all also get uh, the money game uh, dmp gammon save and gammon go results and since I, these data is not included in the match file you sent to me i have to do this uh, uh, on or run this on my machine and this takes some time of course that's why uh, yeah it's it it, uh, it takes uh, roughly about four times as long and uh, yeah that's why here i had uh, of course the price is higher though it's uh, two times um, yeah and you can uh, then decide uh, in the in the initial offer it was like that that i have created a card for any error uh, 20 milli points or more and you have now the possibility to name three different thresholds which means you can decide um, what, what's the the limit for uh, cube decisions so for example as i mentioned before for me at the moment for my working deck i only create cards for um, cube errors 200 milli points or more and there are still enough uh, and uh, checker play you can set a different limit so in my case i use 100 milli points and the third uh, possibility is for uh, opening positions you can uh, set uh, another limit so in my case it's 50 milli points and of course uh, so you can uh, 
yeah, you have an influence how many cards will be created. Um, yeah, on the right side we see here um, what's included on the cards, but we have already seen this. I think basically, yeah, here on the bottom you you also see the the parameters that are available. I showed you the um, with the example of the pip count trainer earlier. So, for example, we have this parameter A where you can. Um, this was also a, a change, by the way, uh, in, in the first version. Um, the match score was displayed as an away score and as an absolute score, both. And I changed this, that the, the default is just the away score. And you can decide if you set the parameter A in the deck name that you get the absolute score. And with B, you have the old behavior that you see the away score and the and the away score and the absolute score, if you want this. And uh, you can also hide the, the extra information if you say that's, that's too much for me at the moment. With parameter C, you can uh, you can make in the money game double match point game and save and game and go extra data invisible if you want. And also with D you can can hide the dice distribution information. And there are more and more uh, options and you can set uh, more than one as you can see here um, when you separate them uh, by semicolon. So in square brackets at the end of the deck name. And then if you have more than one parameter, just separate them with a semicolon. Uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, the update so far. Um, yeah, what's, what's coming? Um, Last week I had uh, a recording, a session with Nick Glazier, so there will be an interview on his channel, which should be out uh, in two or three weeks. It should be out uh, this year, so I think the interviews come out always on, on Friday. And I will also have a session and visit uh, Daniel Roviera. Roviera, uh, he has this uh, wonderful YouTube channel, Begammon is Beautiful, and we will do something together there as well. So, yeah, that's it so far. Uh, let me know if you have uh, some more questions regarding Anki. Otherwise, we will wrap it up. Pretty soon. Yeah, does not seem though the case. So check out the web page. Um, maybe the description was today a little bit shorter. So check out the, the video recording of the seminar uh, from Cyprus and also maybe the my first video if you have not seen it already where I explained the whole method a little bit more uh, in deep. Today, this should only be an, an update. Yeah, then I wish you all a nice evening. Yes, you will wait for the videos. Yeah, now it's we have uh, everything is set up and uh, I'm waiting for Dirk and uh, they will soon come out. At least the first one or two should be out in December. Okay, so have a nice weekend. And as always, I love you all. Bye bye.